today's lesson is on the mean value theorem. So here we go. So the theorem says that if a function is continuous on the closed interval a to b and differentiable on it's supposed to be differentiable on the open interval from a to b then there exists a point let's call it C, a point C such that the following is true. Okay, such that. So I'm gonna write this and then explain exactly what it means. The derivative of this function at a point C is equal to the average rate of change on this interval from the endpoints A to B. So what this is saying, so here is this interval. So if you take the average rate of change from this interval, so here we have average rate of change. If the function is continuous and differentiable, then some point there will be an instantaneous rate of change that will equal this average rate of change. Okay, so let's put this on a graph to kind of just give you a visual. So let's say here we have an endpoint, and then we have this endpoint right here. So this is A, this is B. What is the average rate of change of that interval that would be the secant line connecting A to B. So this red line is the average rate of change. So if the function is continuous and differentiable, then there must be somewhere a point, let's say here, C, where the tangent line at C, so that instantaneous rate of change, is equal to the average rate of change. So those, I'm, I'm trying to draw parallel lines here. So this one is your instantaneous rate of change at this point will equal the average rate of change of the interval. So now just a real quick recap of the mean value theorem and comparing it to the intermediate value theorem because these are often confused. Mean value theorem is showing that an instantaneous rate must exist on an interval. Interval, let's spell it correctly. And then the intermediate value theorem is a y value must exist on an interval. So that's kind of the, the big difference between those two. Okay, so let's start with the table and I'm just gonna go ahead and say, hey, this function is going to be continuous and differentiable. So, this is going to be a position table. And we've got seconds, we've got centimeters, so I'm just gonna give you some values. So at 12 seconds, we've got negative seven. At 17, three. At 36, negative 19. At 41, negative nine. So two questions that we are going to ask. So the first question is, okay, here's an interval. So this interval has to do with from the 36 to 41. Must there be a time 
when s sub t equals negative 10. So which theorem are we talking about? This is asking about a y value. So this is intermediate value theorem. So must there be a time when it's negative 10? Well, if you look here, on this interval, the y values are going from negative 19 to negative 9. So does negative 10 exist in that interval? And the answer is yes. So yes, by the intermediate value theorem. So now another question. So here's a different interval. So from 12 to 36. So now we're dealing with these numbers here. Must there be a time when s prime of t equals negative 1 half? So because I have this s prime, now we're dealing with derivative instantaneous rate of change. So what we're going to do is find the average rate of change on this interval. On this interval. So what we'll do is s of 36 minus s of 12 over 36 minus 12. So negative 19 um, minus negative 7, so plus 7 over 36 minus 12 is 24. So negative 12 over 24 is negative 1 half. So the average rate of change, average rate of change is negative 1 half. That means on the interval, yes, there must be an instantaneous rate of change that is also at negative 1 half. And that is because of the mean value theorem. All right, so now I'm going to give you a function. f of x equals x squared minus 8x plus 14. And we're going to look at this function on the interval from 1 to 6. So we know this is a quadratic, so we know that it is continuous and differentiable. Let's start, let's find the average rate of change on this interval. So f of 6 minus f of 1 over 6 minus 1. Okay, if you plug in 6, you should get 2. If you plug in 1, you should get 7 over 5. So this will equal negative 1. So average rate of change is negative 1. So now the question is, when does the instantaneous rate of change equal the average rate of change? So when, so it's asking x value. OK, so let's think about this. So let's go back up here. Let's find instantaneous rate of change. So that means we're going to need to find the derivative, which is 2x minus 8. So we want to know when this is equal to the average rate of change, negative 1. So I'm just going to set it equal to negative 1, the average rate of change, equal to the instantaneous rate of change, and solve for x, and you should get x equals 7 halves. So what that means is the derivative of f at 7 halves will have the instantaneous rate of change of negative 1, which matches the average rate of change of the interval. So that is your full video on the mean value theorem. Good luck with your lesson.